we are in the business of helping organization benefit in integrating artificial intelligence. Just uh, until now, I thought I was doing science, but apparently I'm not, uh, because we're using deep learning. Well, what I can say is that deep learning, despite being scientific or not, uh, is still driving a huge amount of business value, and that's what I'm going to show you tonight. Thanks to that non-science technology called deep learning, is possible today, uh, because anything that touches images, text, video, speech, that used to be done by people, can now be tackled by machines. And that's going to help you know, a machine take on some tasks that used to be done by people to only left the tasks that are the most complex to people, and so, in a sense, rehumanize the humanity, because you, we leave to machine what machine can do best, and we leave to people what we can do best, which is dealing with emotion, creativity, and relationship with other people. So how do we help companies achieve that? We help we educate them, we help them understand what's possible with AI today within their own organization, with workshops and also lectures from like a few hours to like four days. Then we also help companies integrate custom AI solution if they have data, or help them also develop an AI strategy if they want to acquire some data assets. And we also, over the time, we have built some solution of the shelves, like also uh, a document data extraction system automatically. So now we, I, I, I was told to, 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 to throw a bunch of use cases uh, uh, to do some use case bashing, so that's what I'm going to do now. So a very easy one is uh, automating the customer support. So everything, when companies have to deal with thousands of emails per day, um, that's where we can also come in to help companies understand, uh, to, 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 to automate the instant understanding of the email, the prioritization of the email, classification, dispatching of that email, all the way to automatically generate an answer so that we leave the, the hard email the complex email to, to, to you know, are, are left to, to people to tackle. And that can, can drive uh, uh, quite nice ROIs, as you can see. Um, also, everything that touches document processing, when people had to, in the past, look at documents and make decisions based on that, well, wh whether they are invoices, receipts, or, as you can see, um, car crash forms that used to be manually um, um, treated, can now be automatically treated. And when you can imagine that some insurance companies have like hundreds of thousands of those documents to treat per year, it helps them quite a lot to improve their operation. Invoice anomaly detection can drive also a serious amount of uh, revenue for insurance companies that used to be done by people that now can be done by machines. Uh, and a whole of a bunch of uh, uh, use cases. This is all the things that you see in, uh, in green, like. Um, Automated account receivable management, reserve, for reserve fund estimates, automatically allocates claim resources to work on cases, automate the first notice of loss. All those are all use cases that can be partially automated by machine, and that helps drive a lot of innovation and a lot of uh, uh, business value. Outside of insurance world, we've done also logo detection because since we can, we don't, we not only work on text and documents, we also work on images where we can, in this case. Uh, um, register all the logos of brands that are in, um, in, in, in the press or newspaper so that people don't have to do that boring and repetitive task anymore. And all the way to data or AI for good. Um, so here this is like a satellite imagery where we helped an NGO in Africa identify where the tuberculosis hotspots were so that they could send um, doctors in some areas only and focus on them. And how did we help them? We helped them identify where the mines were on uncharted uh, territory. We were, uh, helped them identify the, the quality of the settlements, they were they new or old, how far from the ro roads they were, uh, and then how rich or poor each streets of a city were. And so if you combine all of these information, uh, identify thanks to deep learning, you can then uh, combine it into a model to help the doctor focus on the, on the areas that requires them the most. So this was just uh, an example of what's possible today. We have many more use, use cases. You can come see, see, you can come see me uh, upstairs uh, to let me show you. But just what I can tell you is that there is a lot of use cases, opportunities out there. There's a lot of expertise and experience that you can, uh, they, that you can use from, from a startup like Sagasify. So my question is to you, uh, are you going to be the next one to collaborate with us uh, to see how we can help you uh, innovate and, uh, and benefit from this new technology? Thank you very much.